That's right, it's time to put the brand new 2021 Ford F-150 on the world's toughest towing test. But before I get to the mountain and meet Mr. Truck, I gotta load it. Let's do it. We're not gonna take it easy on this Ford. This is the hybrid, it can tow a lot. So I'm trying to set the weight just right. Next up after loading, it's getting a weight on it. And tomorrow morning, get to the truck stop, weigh this rig, and then finally meeting Mr. Truck for the test itself. All right guys, so before I hook up the trailer, I wanted to check the squat. So, as it is, it's about 40 inches unladen. Let's put the weight on. One thing that I don't like about this F-150 is that the chain hoops are way underneath the truck. So I have to really stretch just barely. Okay, so without the weight distribution bars, let's measure 37 and 3 quarters. Let's double check. That's about 38. So actually, uh, just about two inches of squat, which is for a half ton truck like this, is actually reasonable. Hey guys, with the holidays right around the corner, I bet you're looking for a really good gift. Well, I have one for you, and that is, boom, the Ike Gauntlet shirt. That's right. And if you go to the link below, you can get three for the price of two by using the special code free TFL. That's right, and I'm not the only one who's wearing one. Bye. -bye. Oh, that's right, nice shirts, right? Happy holidays. We're pushing the Ford uh, near its limit. So what does this tell us? Well, gross combined weight with me, the truck and the trailer is 15,480 pounds. But the trailer is actually pushing down on the truck with about 940 pounds. And this is the exact trailer weight. It's about 9,240. Yes, it's not 11,000, basically near the maximum, but we're basically maxed out on payload on this truck with me in the truck and a few other things. Bullseye, we meet again up in the high country where it's snowing. That's right, it's the new F-150 versus the Ike. But what's the Silverado Chevy doing here, this trail boss? Well, Ford is kind of changing the game. This is a hybrid powertrain, so I thought we would uh, run the Ford F-150 on the Ike, but also uh, use the Chevy as a benchmark because the Chevy is more of a standard truck. TFL Insider new Ford F-150 video series is brought to you by our friends at Five Star Tuning. These guys have been tuning Ford trucks for decades. They specialize in custom tunes that can boost power, increase efficiency, improve off-road capability, and the ultimate towing performance. Go to 5startuning.com linked in the description below and unlock the full potential of your truck or SUV right now. Now here's the way we're gonna run this. Mr. Truck is gonna tow with both trucks on the way down. He's gonna measure the downhill performance and then we're gonna swap. I'm gonna jump in the truck and tow on the way up. We're gonna compare notes and give you all the data in this video. On the Chevy, uh, the chain hoops are much easier to reach. I like that. Mr. Truck, how many brake applications in the Silverado? Well, cool. This is our 2020 Trail Boss Silverado. And Andre, what, uh, what kind of rear end does this have? Well, this has a 323, actually. 
uh, still the 10 speed and the 5.3 is rated at 355 horsepower and 383 pound feet of torque. We're just uh, taking this truck as kind of a benchmark because this is really common and seeing what the hybrid does. All right, dude, I think it's now my turn to go up the mountain, right? That seems to be what you like to do. I get what? the dangerous stuff of going down the mountain. <laughs> But six brake applications, that was impressive. It Let's was. see what it does on the way up. It was so cool, it stayed right around 5960, it did not want to touch 61. I also set the cruise control system in the Silverado, but it's not quite enough. Uh, I had to put my foot down, it was slowing down just a hair and now my foot is buried into the floor and I'm at about 4500 rpm and trying to maintain speed like this let me show you the sound kind of as I'm going in about the same place as the Ford that's not bad about 68 decibels that's still really good. Okay, here's the very end. The top of the world, full throttle. Okay, 805, 3.4 MPG. So still a very good result. It's near eight minutes, which is the perfect run. Uh, obviously I had a little bit of trouble maintaining speed. Uh, the engine was revving at about 4,500 RPM. All right, Mr. Truck, kick off the downhill portion of the test. Okay, we're in the tunnel. It's a little loud, hope you can hear me. It's also strange doing this without Andre next to me, telling me what to do all the time. But <laughs> so let's see how this comes out. We'll pop out of the tunnel at 50 miles an hour, and then if it gets up to like 61, I'll hit the brakes. We'll count the brake applications. We're in tow haul mode. This 10 speed, we'll see what it does. Up there's 60, 61. So now I'm going to hit them, get down to 50 miles an hour. There's one. So, Mr. Truck, what kind of magic do they have under the hood of the Ford here? Well, I know it's a 3.5 twin turbo, one of my favorite engines, but this is like a hybrid, so it's got all kinds of power. It's 430 horsepower, 570 pound feet of torque. It's unbelievable. Well, yeah, and it's also obviously that includes the electric motor. The electric motor is sandwiched right between the engine and the 10 speed, and it has a 373 rear differential ratio, which means it should be a kind of a tow monster. That's true. I know if you get it set right, it's 12 grand. This is quite not that high because it's a loaded limited. These two are very different trucks. We have a fully optioned F-150 Limited high-end model. We have an off-road truck, the Silverado Trail Boss. They have similar payload capacities, about 1,500 pounds in the Trail Boss and 1,350 in the F-150. The Trail Boss is rated to tow up to 9,500 pounds. The F-150 Hybrid, the way you see here, is configured to about 11,000 pounds of max towing. Actually, I was a bit wrong. The Chevrolet has a payload of 1,685 pounds and this truck weighs about 5,400 pounds, so it's a lot lighter curb weight than that F-150 hybrid. Is the transmission helping you at all? No, there's seven brake applications. I mean, I'm running around 4,000 RPM, which surprises me a little bit because I should have some better grade brake in there and I dropped down to 3,000, 3,400 RPM. Okay, this is our Cimarron 4 horse from Transwest Tractor RV. You'll see their link below in the description. And we've got it loaded up, so our gross now is 9,200 pounds. And up front, you see the cement bags. That's part of the, how we get our exact weight. We used to use center blocks, now we're using cement bags. And then this North Star Cimarron 4 horse. In the back, we've got a water tote, and we've got some water barrels, three water barrels. That's what it took, and they're a little froze. They're not froze solid. In the winter, it's not easy to do this.
Hope 61, we're just about to the end of it. That makes eight brake applications, which I think will be it. And eight brake applications, yeah, that's pretty common. A lot of these half tons have done 10. Oh, I love the beautiful interior of this limited F-150. Gorgeous seats. And the front seats lay down. I can take a nap. I got a folding console for I can put supper on. I can gaze at the stars of the mountains through my giant moonroof. There's a name for this thing. And it's got a vibrating seat. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. Yeah, this truck has better seats than my house. Here's how you control the massaging function that Mr. Truck is talking about. So you go to either passenger or driver, click massage, and relax recovery is my favorite. So Mr. Truck, how many brake applications did you get? Eight, which is kind of average. I mean, you had a lot of half tons that have done this in 10. So eight's good, it's not great, but it's good. But it was charging batteries, you know, we're going downhill, so you can tell that it was charging. But you know, I didn't feel like, you know, when, when, when grade shifting really kicks in, you feel it. I didn't really feel it anywhere. Interesting. It might have showed up in the torque converter, but then maybe that transferred to charging batteries. I don't know. All right, well, get out. Let me drive. No, it's my truck. <laughs> get out. I want to go up. Ford is changing the pickup truck game a bit because what we have right here is a full hybrid. That means under light loads this truck is able to actually move itself with no gas power whatsoever but for very limited distances right here on my trip meter you can see over the last 542 miles went about 45 miles on electricity alone and that's like coasting uh, going downhill maybe going around the parking lot of course right now i'm going to reset the trip meter and i'm going to hammer down this truck is so fast it's <laughs> okay I'm at 60 and actually I might just just set my cruise control system This F-150 basically has every option. That includes a 360 degree camera. And you can see right there, Mr. Truck is walking around. I can also choose which cameras I wanna see. <laughs> and I can see Mr. Truck dancing and I can zoom in. This truck is also equipped with a Trailer Pro Backup Assist feature. You still have to have a sticker to actually use this feature and set it up accordingly. Then of course, in the towing section, you can actually define a trailer, including its length. It will remember the uh, gain settings on the trailer brake controller and also remembering all of the uh, things that are important for towing. You can monitor the hybrid system in a couple of ways. There's a power flow screen in the center on this 12 inch display. They moved up the brake controller so it's a little bit higher, which is actually easy to reach, nice. And of course, you could also select your driving modes and we'll be using tow haul mode here. The frame is mostly the same on this new truck, but the suspension and the width of the truck are a little different. Uh, Ford says they increased the width or the track width uh, just by about, you know, maybe half an inch to an inch. Uh, the wheelbases are the same. This is a crew cab short bed and the suspension is actually well set up. Even with these 22s, I still, with a, almost a full load, I still have a little bit of suspension travel left over in the back and it's pretty comfy, very stable. Really Ford threw everything, every piece of technology at this truck, even adaptive cruise, lane keep assist. The only thing they didn't throw at this truck is actually air suspension. Um, there is not currently an option for an air suspension on this truck. Well, we're still using the hitch we always do, Gen Y, adjustable hitch. And we got a weight distributing hitch hooked up in here, and Andre did a good job of leveling it out, making sure the spring arms are tight enough to do some good. Cool, look at that. It folds in, which you need at Walmart. And these are decent mirrors. I mean, our trailer is like seven and a half feet wide, but I can still see them good with this factory mirror. Let me show you the sound level inside this truck. Two decibels? I'm talking to you at like 86. Uh, 
that's probably the quietest eye gauntlet I've ever done. Anything below 70 decibels is good. Being at 62 decibels approximately, it's insanely quiet. And that's partly because this engine is not even trying. Okay, I'm coming up to the very top. Timer stops now. 3.5 mpg, seven minutes and 49 seconds. Uh, that's a benchmark run, basically anything around eight minutes um, is benchmark speed. 3.5 mpg is not great, but uh, what are you gonna do with this powerful truck? What in tarnation happened on your way up the hill with that Silverado? Well, the Silverado had a slightly harder time on the way up. Eight minutes and five seconds, okay. so a bit slower. And actually, it used a little bit more fuel, 3.4 mpg according to the trip meter, and 68 decibels, so it was a little bit louder because the engine was revving higher. Yeah, and that's nothing to be ashamed. That's a very good number, pulling 9,200 pounds. I, that's respectable. So I think, guys, what we've learned here today is that the new F-150 hybrid has so much power, you can never slow it down no matter how you load it. Still mediocre performance on the downhill, right? Well, that's true. I think we need to find a mountain where we can go 80 miles an hour. With a million pounds. Yeah, well, something like that. Let's okay. find us a new mountain that's got a higher speed. <laughs> All right, guys, well, there you have it. F-150 hybrid on the Ike and go back to tfotruck.com and where else? MrTruck.com! Heck yeah.